Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard under a tent and it's like 95 degrees under here and uh, I forgot to clean one of my spatulas so you're going to be staring at a blank canvas for a second which is too bad because I know you guys will go away if I'm not back quick enough in the first 15 seconds. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I have just spent quite a bit of time teaching myself a new technique or that's a bold faced lie didn't take me any time at all to learn this new technique, but um, we're going to do it again in a slightly different way. I'm going to tip down to both sides and toward that corner instead of worrying about, whoops, yeah, okay, well, I am in a little bit of a hurry. I've got something I'm supposed to go do tonight and get ready for this afternoon, and I probably shouldn't be out here at all, but here I am making a mess because I'm in a hurry so I'm going to slow down now. I say that. I hope I'm going to slow down. So I'm going to put a bunch of this paint right here and then I'm going to do it again. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to let that run first. And then I'm going to put what I've got left for white paint. And I'm going to let that run first wrong, the wrong way so the black paint runs into it. And then back again. Come on. You can merge for me. I know you can. I kind of like, I kind of definitely more than a little bit like the unevenness of the, uh, the organic nature of the pattern that forms when the two meet each other. And I am committed to making a mess, so it is what it is today. You know, I, I save paint most of the time, and then you got to do what you got to do when you discover what you discover. I love using paint out of my big bottles right now. They're, they don't clog. <laughs> and I'm going to just do what I just did again. A little bit the wrong direction and a lot back the direction I want to merge. A little bit over. Usually I would be using a spatula for this, but um, you know, if I want more drips, I just have to add more paint in certain areas like that. This is almost kind of sorta very similar to the last piece. And I'm just gonna let that paint go right back down on the canvas. And this time I'm gonna put very little white next to this gold because it doesn't have to be even. And I'm really still in experimental mode as to what might happen, which is okay. I want to put a different color in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So here goes nothing. Do I want to put it everywhere or just somewhere? This is a really expensive paint. This is, whoops. Well, I guess there was a blockage in there. Um, <laughs> and I'll be buying more when I find it again. That is a mystique from Art Minds. I don't want any of that dripping away. So I'm going to go back over this way. Yes, I am. I am blowing that over. I want to take my tubing too. Do I can I find it? Maybe it's just another moment. Oh, wow, I did not rinse off my... Look, I didn't rinse off my uh, <laughs> my basting brush. But I think the paint on there is fresh enough. I'm going to do what I did. I'm just going to keep moving because I can. I'm trying to remember that all of this started so that I would use up some leftover paint that I've got over there behind me that I'm ignoring completely while I'm having too much fun doing what I'm doing. And that's all over me. Paint gets really liquidous when it's hot. So I think a little bit more, you know what? Whatever, all bets are off, anything goes. That's also, that's a color shift, but that one's for folk art. I don't know if I can keep it or not, but I wanna find out a whole bunch of stuff right now. I have a lot of paint up there. 
but I'm liking what I'm seeing, so it's hard not to. I'm going to throw a few things in the bucket while I can remember. So, do I want to? Really? That's either... No, that's a huge lump. Goodbye, huge lump. And this is a not-covered spot. The same as that is a not-covered spot. Boy, it takes, it takes some real... Oh! <laughs> I don't want to do it! I'm going to have to wipe that off. I can tell now. I'm just going to follow my instincts. And have some fun. And then I'll think about that leftover paint. And wish I had used it. And maybe I still should. This is a really fun basting brush I just modified by taking out almost all of the bristles. But you can see what it's doing. It's leaving fabulous trails. And I'll bet it will leave some fabulous dots. Or some texture. Or something fun. I think next time some cobalt blue in this mix would be fantastic. I can go sideways with this. Yes, I can. Well, I guess this day was all about the basting brush, but um, you know that paint is still calling me. It's right there behind me. Let me have a look at that. If I throw the basting brush in the in the bucket, it's probably safer. So let's just um, give this a bit of a torch. While I look to see if there's any edges I can fix up. I don't want to skim up the surface too much, even though it's going to remove some of the bubbles and maybe pop a few cells. But I want to use that other paint. Let's have a look at that other paint. I think that's some beautiful paint. If I use that, it'll be too much. No, it won't. She said optimistically. Let's just uh, let's just hope I can use that. And get lucky. I think it's time for a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And that paint is pretty well sat there quite a while under that cover. It doesn't mean I'm not going to try and use it. But my temptation would be I don't know what my temptation would be. I lost my train of thought when I started to say, ooh, pretty colors. I am recording. Just in case anybody needs to know. If I go slow, I might get to keep some drops, right? I don't think that's going to hurt anything a bit. <laughs> Just makes me want to dribble the rest of it though. I really don't have enough paint left to keep doing this, <laughs> but it's not keeping me from wanting to try. Which leads me back to, yeah, that's actually kind of attractive. I'm not minding that bit. Gives me some paint over my edge right there. That's pretty. I'm good with that. But I have some more of this purple over to my side. And I have the ability to dribble out of one tine. 
Not that I'm sure that that was my best idea, but uh, we're still having some fun. I think all this needs to go in there. I'm a lot nervous about doing it though, I gotta say. I am going to take my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and scrape out my box of pretty colors. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link underneath Show More, underneath the video on YouTube. And if you visit the Amazon link, you will also find my OXO omelet turning spatula, which I started with and my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, which I'm using a number one of right now. And the only other thing that I could use to do something with in this particular composition, in my opinion, is maybe some of that beautiful pink right there, and I'm very tempted by that. So, I have to clean up in a minute. It's time to get ready to go soon. And I can integrate that a bit with a skewer, I think. Hoping to let it stay. Yes, I love that pink. And I'm pretty happy with those colors. Just overall, I think my pan. It's time to put my paint pan in the uh, in the bucket. Makes me want some of that purple now. Go figure. I'm getting to be pretty good. I think if I go too much further, it might not be as good as I am right now. So I'm going to torch and tell you guys I do sell my artwork and I do give classes at the house. And if you want to contact me through YouTube, you can, and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. I just want to integrate that a little bit. I could probably put a few more spirals in there. I could probably tip this and that would probably be okay. But I'm sort of having a, a lot of fun recently with some... Uh, some new techniques and some accidental art results and that's okay with me because you all need to know that too and every time I do something you learn something that you can try for the fun of it and I love that I love you guys I love your comments thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time if you want to join this month's contest by donating through PayPal or Patreon you're welcome to do so you can find the, um, the PayPal or Patreon icon on my YouTube header and also on Underneath the video, underneath Show More, immediately, you can find Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook. Facebook albums, yes, of YouTube artworks, wet and dry artworks. And uh, you might have to join the group called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors to do that. But um, if you don't mind that, you're in, in like Flynn. There's no requirement to, to go in other than an interest in seeing those albums. Uh, there's also another Facebook group where people go who enjoy what I do and they enjoy what they do. I tell you what, I've got some amazing work there now that's called Expression to Start Studio Appreciation. And uh, we seem to be getting more and more members all the time. So um, you can go there and ask them questions. You can ask me questions. I hang out there sometimes. I post videos there sometimes. Um, I don't know what I'm forgetting. Probably something. I, uh, the Teespring, the link to clothing under the video is mine, so if you shop there, you help me out. Um, oh, yeah. Most important, thumbs up. Thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. I noticed when you started to do that, and uh, it, it gives my videos better placement. The YouTube algorithm only knows thumbs up and how long you watch a video for, including the commercials, um, really is a huge assistance to me, and I appreciate it very much. So I'm going to give this a torch.
and that is going to help release any bubbles that might be caught in the paint from mixing the paint with the pouring mediums. My recipe is under the video. I use GAC 800 in all of my acrylic paints because when I leave the patterns nice and thick like this one is, then I know without a doubt my paint will not crack when it dries. I don't use water. I don't recommend using water. I just thought I'd mention that. It destroys the polymer bond in the acrylics. And I like, I'm going to have to call this like breezy or something. Anyway, so it also will release early on, it will release patterns in the paint. And if you decide that you want to use a propane torch, it's like five bucks for a torch that lasts six months. Buy the good torch head from artresin.com. I'm not a representative, but I have been using this, this torch head that cost me 50 bucks for more than a year and um, it saved me mo a lot of money in the long run and probably in the short run because uh, I had five butane torches and all of them pooped out on me. I hope that's not a swear word. I don't think pooped out is a swear word. Anyway, so I got some mess to clean up, but I love you guys and um, this is in the family of something else I did recently that's, that I called Aboriginal, and that's okay with me because I like this, this new uh, technique. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking my skewer in things again. See how I am. Just can't trust me when I say I'm done to be done. I'm going to be checking my edges for a minute. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, and this is my last painting today. And I will talk to you anon. Keep on making comments. You make my day every time. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.